this is where contour comes in handy. So you can click on the graduation cap. And then in the bottom corner, there's contour. So say she wants another name, um, whatever the name is, we'll go ahead and click contour. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Erica with Seldom Saints, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about contour in Cricut Design Space and what contour does, as well as how to use it. So, before I jump in, make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys like seeing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have been super busy. I not only do this, but I also run my own website where you can get like the actual t-shirts or the actual designs placed on different products. If you guys want to check that out, you're more than welcome to. You'll find it under La Bella Rouge and I'll leave a link down in the description as well. But anyways, let's get back into what contour does. So I have a Cricut Design Space loaded and I purchased this file from a seller on Etsy and in this file you'll notice over here, let me zoom in, Oops, zoomed in a little too much. So right here though, on the file, there's these like weird lines. And unfortunately, sometimes when you buy files off of Etsy, sometimes they'll have like random things. And instead of, you know, you trying to reach out to the seller, all you have to do is you can just hide it like that. You just find it over here in in your um, layers panel right over here, you just search for it. This one has a lot of layers. And I mean, every graphic designer is a little bit different in the way they do it. So we hit that one line, now we need to find the other line. And it's right there. Nope, that's not it, there's another one. Hmm. Oh no, that was it, okay. My design space is just lagging a little. So let's get this back over here. And I had this customer message me. She wanted this specific design. And she asked me for her son's name in the graduation cap. Not a problem. So we'll go ahead and add that in. And I first am going to show you how I basically got the name into the graduation cap and then how contour helps you. So let's go ahead and change the name from black to something you guys can see a little bit better. We'll just do this pink color. It really doesn't matter. It's just something that you guys can see. Bring it over here. Shrink it down a little bit more. We'll turn it a little. And we'll place it like so. That looks Good to me, maybe a little bit more of an ant, like a little more turned. Okay, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to ungroup this entire image because it's all grouped together. You go up here to the top right corner to ungroup. I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, Cricut Design Space runs really slow on my computer and it's only design space, especially since they recently did that update. So as you can see, his name disappeared because once we ungrouped it, it pushed everything to the front. So we'll just move the graduation cap all the way to the back and you can go right here where it says arrange. 
and then you can send it to the back. And so we have his name and we're going to click on his name and the graduation cap and we're going to slice the image. I have videos, you guys, that talk more about welding and slicing and everything like that. So I can leave those, um, I can leave a little card on the top corner. It should pop up that says, um, it'll take you the link to how to, a little more in depth about slicing and welding and such. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. And I know you can't see it, but there is his name right there. See, it did highlight it. And then, so now we have his name cut out of the graduation cap. And it, it makes for a really cool custom little piece for the customer. So, per se, she messages you again. And she wants another name done, but you've already in, you know, you've already done this. Um, you can, this is where contour comes in handy. So you can click on the graduation cap and then in the bottom corner, there's contour. So say she wants another name, um, whatever the name is, we'll go ahead and click contour because right now the name Josh is it's cut out of that. So as you can see, here's the actual graduation cap. And then if you click on hide contour, so if you click on these buttons right here, all of them, and then you exit out of this, it's now back to a solid piece and you can put whatever name you want in there. And this is a little bit handier if you just don't want multiple, um, you know, multiple designs on here. I one time had a customer um, want a specific color, which I did not have in stock. And so I had to take this apart to fit the scrap vinyl that I had um, left in it. And so this was completely taken apart. And then she messaged me. And this was exactly where I kind of got the idea from because she, I had her son's name cut out of this. And then she had messaged me asking for the same exact color, which I only have scrap left in it. Um, I didn't have any like rolls of it in stock. And so, you know, in those instances where you're, you know, you have the design kind of taken apart, it was so much handier just to contour his, you know, his name out and put the new one in. So I, I hope that kind of helps you understand, you know, one of the one of the ways that you can use contour. Um, there's a ton of different ways, but that's just the general idea. So if you have something, you know, or for an exa another example that we could do real quick is, so we have this word kindergarten um, grad. So if you wanna, for whatever reason, you wanna maybe like make the font a little bit more unique to your style, and all these holes right here where the D, the E, and the R are, you wanna fill them in. So what you would do is you click on the letter and then you, well, you have to ungroup it. This is, just, I mean, this is just a specific file. This is how the, the person designed it. So you click on the D and then you can go to contour. And as you will see here, that's like the main outside part. Let me shrink this down so you guys can see it a little better. I don't know why it's so zoomed in. Okay, so you have this outer part and then the center. So if you want the center, you can click on that. And then let me see. Can't move it. So then we'll exit out of this. And now it's not going to cut your centerpiece out. You can do this with all of your letters. Same thing, get rid of that and exit out. And now it's covered up. And you can repeat this process as much or as little as you want. You could pick letters. I mean, it just allows for a little more customization. But those are a couple different ways that 
contour work. I hope you guys understand the concept of what it is. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down um, below and in the comments. And I will try and answer them as quickly as I possibly can. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next.